And we are back. I'm Jim Michael from Jim Reviews here at the Running Warehouse. Today we got Connor, aka the GOAT, and we'll be going over the best shoes, top of the line, out on the market for you guys to debate, to pick, to choose. Today I got my choices. Connor has his. Let's get right into it. All right, Jamie. 2018 was a good year, but 2019 is looking even better. We got all new shoes. Leading us off was going to be our favorite highly cushioned shoe. For me, it's no question the Skechers Go Run Max Road 4 is gonna take the gold. This shoe is highly cushioned. It's got that ultra lightweight hyperburst midsole. Jamie, the Max Road 4 is changing the game in the cushioning world. All right, so the Max Road 4 was my top pick. But Jamie, what is gonna be your top cushion shoe of 2019? Well, Connor, I hate to agree to an agree, but I'm gonna have to go with the same pick you just picked up. The Max Row 4, it's legit, it's lightweight, it's so cushioned. You know what I say, more cushion for the pushing, the pace. So speaking of pace, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Let's talk about the top racing shoes of 2019. For me, the Nike Zoom Vaporfly 4% is gonna take the cake again. It's got that highly responsive carbon fiber plate mixed with that lightweight flying it upper. This shoe has changed the game in the marathon world. But Connor, have you heard of the shoe called the Vaporfly Next Percent? Jamie, the Next Percent is gonna be the evolution of the 4%. It is extremely hard to get your hands on a pair. I don't even have one yet, but if you can get one, it's gonna be the fastest shoe in the marathon game. Oh man, Connor, I better start saving up. But in the meantime, I have a shoe with its own carbon plate, the Skechers Speed Elite. Now the Speed Elite is just like my favorite shoe, the Razor 3, but with the carbon fiber plate. It's still lightweight, still has that nice feel to it, but with a little extra sparkle. And your boy loves sparkles. It is everything that I need it to be at an affordable price. So I can afford to be fast. All right, Jamie, hold on one moment. You may think you can afford to be fast, but I got something for you. The New Balance 5280. I picked the Vaporfly 4% for my fastest distance shoe, but if we're going short distances, I got the 5280. This shoe was built for the mile. It's got that carbon fiber plate. This is the shoe you wanna go when you wanna reach max speed. Connor, every time we do one of these videos, you wanna pull out two different shoes. It's one shoe per category. You're pulling out stuff out, out of nowhere, or can we just move on to something else? Look, Jamie, I like shoes. I like fast shoes. I like cushion shoes. But you know what? Let's meet in the middle. Let's look at the top versatile shoes of 2019. Jamie, what do you got? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Right now, I got the Hoka Ring Con. If you see my review, you know it will be a top five of 2019, regardless of what comes out. It's lightweight. It's cushioned. It reminds me of a shoe that is a very classic shoe that I will not mention, because for now, we're into new things. And these new things are wonderful. The Rincon. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. All right, Jamie, I will agree. The Rincon has got me excited. But for me, I am going to pick the Skechers Go Run Razor 3. It's got that hyperburst midsole. It's light. It's responsive. This is the shoe I've been bringing out on workout day. My top pick for most versatile shoe, the Skechers Go Run Razor 3. Connor, picking a Skechers. You hold it down for your boy. I appreciate that. Come on, Connor. Not again. All right, moving on. We got the best looking shoe. Now, I know they say looks don't matter, but that ain't true. It does. So, my pick for best looking shoe has got to go to the New Balance Rebel. Now, I saw it last year from the corner of my eye at an event, and I said, New Balance, what is that shoe? They say, Jamie, it's the Rebel. And I said, oh, I need that. Just the way it looks from the knit upper, has all the curves from the back to the front. It's everything you need in a good looking shoe. And it feels great too. But Connor, how about yourself? Well, Jamie, for me, the best looking shoe of 2019 is gonna go to the Adidas Ultra Boost 19. Connor, you, you smell that? What, what? It smells like a, well, like a hype beast. Jamie, I know this shoe might have been a hype beast shoe in previous years, but in 2019, this shoe has been revamped for the runner. And let me just tell you, it also looks really good. Now, Connor, I can agree with that. 
I'm just glad to see the looks matches to the performance. But in the meantime, let's get into the nitty gritty. Stability shoes. No, I don't really run in stability shoes that often, but when I do, I run in the Arahi 3. It's stable, but not invasive. It's something that if you want a little more stability in your longer runs, it works for me. It's cushioned, it's a hoka, and honestly, it doesn't look too bad. All right, Jamie, the Arahi 3 is a great pick, but for me, my top stability hold shoe. Hold up, uh, hold up, let me handle this. You don't even overpronate. What's up, Jamie? Hey, Poppy, what's good, my man? Ah! Oh, how you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So as a severe overpronator who runs a lot, I'm very injury prone, which is why my favorite stability shoe of 2019 is the Hoka Gaviota 2. It may be a little heavy, maybe a little bulky, but it keeps me healthy. And being healthy to me is more important than feeling like Jeff Gordon on an easy day. Okay, 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 Derek. You and your wobbly ankles, get on out of here. We got more important things to talk about. We're heading to the trails. My top trail shoe of 2019 is gonna go to the Hoka One One Evo Mafate 2. We saw small improvements over last year's edition. Tim Tolson played a big role in the development of the shoe and he had one request. What was that one request, Connor? That one request was to put a Lycra strip above the top of the shoe, just give it a little better fit, still maintain that super sticky outsole. The Evo Mufate 2 is gonna be my top trail shoe of 2019. Nice, nice. But I'm not much of a trail guy, so I keep things simple and lightweight. And for me, the Nike Terra Tiger 5 gets the job done. Now you got a full length React, Zoom unit in the heel, it's lightweight, it's breathable, and you know what, it fits my foot, Connor. I got the wide foot going on, but this has a wide toe box. I know, it's a Nike, but it has it, and it gets the job done for me. Nike Terry Tiger 5 is Jameson approved. Outstanding. All right, so that was our top running shoes of 2019. I have my opinions, Jamie has his opinions. But Connor, what about the people's opinion? I think they should let us know their top shoe in each category in the comments down below. And maybe we can talk about it, or debate, argue, whatever you want to do. And with that being said, be sure to subscribe to the Running Warehouse channel. And if you can, you just want to help your boy out, jump reviews right here, just the corner right here. And we'll see you on the next one.